Time to check the Toyota Tacoma's in-cabin air filter and change this thing out. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, it's time to check the Toyota Tacoma's in-cabin air filter and I'm gonna change this thing out. Now, you're probably familiar with this. It's one of those little stinky things that you stick in your truck to make it smell good. I've noticed recently that I can't smell mine anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this. That's assuming I even put one in. We're gonna find out. I think I did. So I'm gonna show you where the air filter is in case you didn't know. And then my idea for making it smell better inside the Toyota Tacoma. Let's get to it. Okay, got a light set up in there for you guys so you can see. If you weren't uh, familiar, there is an in-cab air filter right behind the glove box. Let's go ahead and pop that open. There's a door here you need to remove, and then I think there might be another cover. I don't really remember. So we're going to pop that off and uh, check the air filter and also replace my little sticky thing in there. Okay, this is pretty simple to do. It even says right on the cover here what you're supposed to do. It has arrows and it says slide up and remove. So we're gonna do that. Gonna need to be up above here. Push it up and then it just comes out like so, pretty easy. Now there is a cover here. And if I recall, yeah, there's two little prongs on each side. You push those inward towards each other and then that cover comes off. And right behind it, of course, is your air filter. So let's see if I can do that. There you go, that takes that off. That's pretty easy. Now, if you look in there, you can see where my little stinky thing is lying, I believe. It's actually right back there. So it did move a little bit. I didn't put it all the way back there when I originally installed it. So let's go ahead, pull that out. It's pretty easy. This one was strawberry. Has a little bit of scent left, but not nearly as strong as it was. So we are gonna go ahead and replace it. Unfortunately, the one I have here is coconut. I'm not a big coconut fan, either the taste or the scent, but somebody got it for me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. But let's pull the air filter out, see if we have anything in it. Uh, I don't see anything in it, that's good. Maybe a little bit of dust. Oh, something there fell out. I don't know what that is. Maybe a piece of building material. I don't know. But I'm just going to kind of tap it a little bit. It does have a bunch of dust and stuff in it. I'm noticing as I'm tapping it. Uh, but it's not filthy dirty otherwise. So I'm not going to worry about it. In case you're wanting to know the part number, there is the part number for this. So if you're looking to replace it, get a new one. Uh, there's the number for it. It does go in one way. There is an arrow here that points up. And I'm curious as to why that's not on the front. It should be on the front like that. I think I actually had it in, or maybe the manufacturer had it in sideways. Um, actually, it's a square, so it really will fit. Any way you want to put it in, you can't really screw it up, I don't think. Although it doesn't seem to fit in as well that way. So I think they had it in there wrong, actually. Um, the arrow side with the part number and stuff on it should be from the front or should be visible from the front. So that's still good. We're going to go ahead, slip that back in there and it just sits in there like so. And then the little air scent thing I've got here, uh, I'm just going to lay it on top, kind of like the other one was just like that. And you could tell, obviously, that it didn't get sucked into anything, so it's not a problem. I would not, obviously, put it on the bottom, because on the bottom is where the fan or whatever is, so you certainly wouldn't want it to get in there. Uh, but putting it on the front is no issue. So we've got that back in. Now we just have to reassemble everything. This, hopefully, will slide right back in. It should. I mean, I've got it in there correctly. There, I think that's in right. 
looks right to me. And with the cover on it, it can't go anywhere. Now this is gonna go in up and then you're gonna slide it back down uh, so that it's in the same way that it was. And just like that, and that's it. So it's a pretty simple thing to check. Obviously, uh, you want to check it once in a while to make sure that you're keeping it clean and everything inside the truck. Not a complicated thing to do. And this is certainly something that I would not pay a shop to take care of. You know, like when you take your car in for, a truck rather, in for service and they want to change your filters and all that stuff. I think they even do these now at the quick lube type places. And they'll charge you double the money because obviously they're gonna mark it up at least 100%. They're gotta pay their people and they gotta make money. So there's no reason you can't do this yourself. Uh, I showed the part number. You can buy these online. I would imagine Amazon or you can even pick one up at the dealer if you want. However, I would probably buy it on Amazon because it's probably a little bit cheaper. So anyway, that's how you change or check the air filter, the in-cabin air filter on your Toyota Tacoma. Pretty simple to do. And again, I like putting that little scent pad thing, tree, whatever you want to call it, inside. The thing about putting it there as opposed to just laying it under the seat or hanging it from your rear view mirror is when your air conditioning or heater is on, it's going to blow that scent and circulate it through the truck. So it'll just make your Toyota Tacoma smell a little bit better. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you have one of these little scent things in your truck? There's even oils and things you can get that you can put on the filter, but I think that kind of defeats the purpose because then you're clogging up the pores, if you will. I wouldn't do that. But let me know if you do the same thing or if you even check your in-cabin Tacoma air filter. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks, currently the Hyundai Santa Cruz and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator, which is currently parked way out there. Have a look, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.